with the first loaf we make. Hey guys, Oily here. Uh, I know the picture is a little bit fuzzy. I'm sorry, but I don't have studio lighting, so this is the best I can do in my dining room right now. I've tried a bajillion different ways, and correct light and this is the best I can do. So I'm sorry. Hey guys, Oily here. Oh no, uh, I know the picture. Here we go. Fuzzy. I'm sorry, but I don't All have. Right, she broke her own rule. <laughs> We're already off the rails, folks. Right. Oh, Oily <laughs> broke the internet again. Stick a fork in us. We're done. Okay. <laughs> Holy moly. I'm so sorry, y'all. Rule breaking leader. <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> okay. I've got my little rolling cart here and um, trying to make sure I can get down just a bit more. Sorry. There. So you're not going to see my head. It's going to be chopped off right at my double chins. But that's how I cook blood. on my videos. That's worked perfect. <laughs> okay. So we're making homemade lye soap today, and Mouse Toes says that we're going to use it to wash out Hawaii volcanoes. Squats now. So. <laughs> right now, I'm doing what? it with uh, Tillamar Dew on a triple distilled Irish whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so for soap making, first of all, you need to have a mold. This is just a plastic container I got from the Dollar Tree, and I lined it with wax paper. So that works great. Any silicone molds. And the advantage of also, buying regular soap, this over buying regular soap is what? The, the advantage of this is, well, first of all, you can control what goes in your soap. But secondly, if the poo-poo hits the fan, you might need to know how to make soap so you can wash your clothes, your face, your stinky booty. Your feet. All of it, your feet. Okay, so this is my mold. And the way you figure out how many ounces you're going to need uh, for oils and stuff, you take the length times the width times the depth 0. 0.40. Okay? You have to do math? And yes. Yes, you have to do math with a calculator or something. And that'll give you the the amount of ounces. This down, it was 53 point something ounces, 0.9 something, and I rounded it down because when you pour it in here, it's going to be liquidy, and so you don't want it sloshing everywhere, and you kind of got to tamp it down after you pour your liquid in there. Set my mold kind of to the side here, and this is some that I've already made idea of what it looks like. I cut it with a fancy cutter. I know my camera is not that great. Sorry, y'all. But it you get the great. idea. It looks great. Okay. So my recipe that I did, I make sure and have some safety gear on. You want long sleeve shirt. You want some kind of chemical resistant gloves. You want something protecting your eyes. I have Glasses on. I couldn't get my goggles over this, so this is how I have to do it. Can I can I ask you a question, Oily? Uh, this has always intrigued me. Sure. I watched a lot of soap making videos, and they all say the same thing, but that the product at the end you rub on your skin. So, why is it so caustic? What do you mean by caustic? It's not caustic once you has the chemical reaction. Oh, okay, it's, okay, okay. It's That's what I was looking for. I, I can answer that, actually, if you don't yeah. mind real quick, Oily. It goes okay. back to last week's video about um, train derailments and all the chemicals. Mm -hmm. Half of those chemicals that are so deadly is in your body soap and everything we have that we use every day, deodorant, underarm deodorant, everything. So any one of those chemicals that is not diluted Gotcha. It's Concentrated. It's dangerous. Absolutely. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. It's not just that. It's an actual chemical reaction that takes place. Um, by the way, I can't see the external comments right now. So anybody that's out there, thank you so much for coming. And after I'm done demonstrating how to do this, I'll come sit down and 
Anytime, I'm sure Mouse will be good about letting me know who comes in and if there's any questions all along the way, if you don't mind, Mouse. Sure. But it's a chemical reaction called saponification. When lye and fat, lye mixes into water, so then you have lye water. When you add that to your fat and you blend it, it starts to um, reaction. That chemical reaction, unless you cook the soap, that chemical reaction doesn't complete until four to six weeks later. Gotcha. So we'll pour it in our mold so I can cut it after 24 hours because my bar will solidify. Then I'll sit it on a tray and it'll stay there for four to six weeks. So until, so until you get done cooking that, that lye is, is caustic. That's what you're protecting yourself right. against. Right, yes. Okay, gotcha. Yes. Okay, thank you. you. Know, um, now, I, the soap I've made before, I cooked in a crock pot, <laughs> and that that speeds up that chemical reaction, and it's a reaction, so you can actually use it immediately if you want, but if you let your bar sit for a week to a few weeks, then it makes the bar a harder bar, so it doesn't dwindle down as quickly. It doesn't melt as quickly. It's a harder bar, but it's usable immediately. That's where we're at. But I'm showing you a cold process. It's not cooking it. This is just, you know, getting it to where it'll be at what's called trace, and I'll explain that when I get to it. And then it will blend. Um, then it will cure on its own and do its do its good stuff then. Okay, um, for this, I'm using castor oil, canola oil, and coconut oil. And so I figured up how much I needed at SoapCalc.net, um, and of course, make sure you're using 100% lye, and this is the NaOH, sodium hydroxide lye, okay? And I need 53 ounces of liquid for this mold. So my mold is washed and dried and sitting there waiting. And I have my lye, and everything's already pre-measured out so that I don't have to you know, bore you with all of that in front of you. Just make sure when you're measuring your lies and stuff and your oils, it has to be precise. So make sure that your scale isn't set to pounds or grams. Make sure, make, if you're going to do it all in ounces, make sure it's all in ounces. Bring, put your container on there first, then fill your container, you know, zero out your scale so that it doesn't account for the weight of your container, you know. Put your container on there, zero out your skill, and then add your lye or your liquids or whatever it is that you're measuring. I keep everything separate until then. I've already got, um, I warmed up my oils so that my uh, coconut oil will melt, would melt in the, in the dish, or in the dishwasher, in the microwave. Yeah, that would be a messy situation. <laughs> Wait, you need a microwave and after the shit hits the fan? No, that's where you can warm it up on a just on a grill or whatever it is outside fire, whatever you're doing. But you just want to melt your solid oils. Soap is best made with a combination of both liquid oils, oil, olive oil, almond oil, avocado oil, things like that, and then a oil that is solid at room temperature, like coconut oil or lard, uh, something like that. So that's kind of, so I chose these three because this is what I had and this is what I wanted. So whenever you're doing your, mixing your lies, okay, you, you want to make sure your pets and children are not around and have something to cover your mouth while you're mixing this because it gets pretty strong. Have all your safety gear on. Just for and you, you want to add, huh? Just for you to know, Gear Gryden is in the audience, and not only that, but to make soap making fun, he's following along and he's wearing nothing but an apron. Oh, oh, mm -hmm. oh. Boy, it's, it's very painful. Soap. <laughs> now, so if the shit hits the fan, and 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 like North Korea says that the next war is inevitable, that this 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 will be the last best soap of humankind. Yes. 
Might be. You never know. Uh, okay, that, okay, that was a Terminator reference for those slow-witted people out there. <laughs> I'm going to go put this back in because it's getting a little too cool. Be right back. The Rise of the Machines. Let's see. There you go. Last while best hope of humankind. While that's warming, I need to go ahead and mix this. Now, it's very important when you're mixing your lye water that you do it precisely. Only add the lye to the water, not the water to the lye, because it can create a almost like an explosion. And that would so. Remember, lye to water. If you water to lye, you may die. Not really, but that's a way to remember it. Okay. So I'm adding my. Okay, say that one more time. Water to lie, you may die. Okay. The way okay. to remember it. You won't really die, but it won't be a pleasant situation. Okay, make sure you get every bit of that out. Five granules out and into your water because it's precisely measured. And I'm just going to hold this over my mouth while I stir. Because I don't want to smell this and get all coffee coffee. It creates a thermal reaction. So then add, it'll actually heat up room temperature distilled water or 180 to 200 degrees. Why do I feel like we're watching an episode of Breaking Bad? Yes. <laughs> Exactly. I was just going to say that. <laughs> we're, we're probably going to get in trouble. Uh, Gear Gride 19 says, water to lie, stay dry. Lie to water, hell is hotter. <laughs> it's like we're watching a mad scientist in her kitchen. I'm waiting for that little mushroom cloud to come pouring out of that thing. And a poof. Yes. So what I'm doing is just making sure that it, that all of the light crystals are completely dissolved. Because <clears throat> you do not want a stray light crystal in your soap <laughs> and end up getting a hold of it. All right. Now to cool, so now to cool my light off, I've got a bowl of ice water sitting right here. An ice bag. I'm just going to put it in there a little bit. Now I'm going to go get my oils. So what you're saying is if you don't like somebody, keep the lye crystals hot in that bad boy. Darn Skippy. Notice she didn't say keep your husband out of the room. She said <laughs> children and pets. <laughs> yes, mm -hmm. I heard that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I caught on to that like snap. Let's see if he needs to go to. Okay, and the rule of thumb is you need to try to keep your oils and your lye water within 10 degrees of each other. It doesn't matter if the oil's hotter or the lye's hotter, but I prefer to make sure they're both between 100 and 120 with, with them being 10 degrees apart. I wait on that now. Okay. So 10 so any is the number. Is out there? We got the BC truck rebuild, repair, repurchase, and we got Southern Arc Home, the high desert pioneer just swung in because you know in the desert they need soap because they get dirty. Oh, hey, high desert. Yep. And we got our, our YouTube boyfriend, Gear Gride 19. Also, also make sure on uh, that when you're use, making soap that you use stainless steel plastic or glass. You do not want to use uh, aluminum. It will and then discolor your aluminum your aluminium. utensils, gold, yeah. whatever. So. Your aluminum. And we've got, of course, Finger Lake Preppers in here with us. Finger Lakes. And then You're trying to got, join the Beatles retroactively or something? We've got Faith of Pounds at Melody Acres. Hey! Yay! Always a groovy thing. Yeah. And then we had Penn Woodsman, but he was talking complicated things, and we didn't understand it, so we didn't reply, and he left. Or she left. I don't know. Oh. But we're not that bright. I mean, it's they would understand it's a redneck channel. <laughs> you know? Well, sometimes it says take take one or two tablets oh. every four hours. Perhaps it'll hit the end, so. <laughs> All right. All right. Hey, Mouse, now I have a question for you and Squid. 
<laughs> what? <laughs> okay, well, this came up on, uh, there's just a prepper channel from down under in Australia. Her name is Sammy uh, Prepper, and she wanted to know what the difference was between a, a hillbilly and a hick. Okay, first of all, seriously, <laughs> where do people think hillbillies come from? The frickin' hills, possibly? <laughs> The freaking hills. Hick is almost like an abbreviation. <laughs> exactly. For, for what? And so a, a hick is people who ain't got all their teeth and they can't get it done. So they can't hillbilly. say hillbilly because their tongue slides out. Yeah, so hillbilly's got hick. too many consonants in there. It's, ain't nobody needs some big college words. Exactly. Squib understands. So you explain that to whoever the hell that was that this asked that This question. time with the hillbilly one, there's a hidden clue in the name. Oh, yes. I love it. <laughs> oh, and okay. hidden omitthethethethe. Uh, hidden omitthethethe. I, I have to explain this to somebody who lives in Australia. So Just, maybe you just can... say that hick is if you're not smart enough to be able to say hillbilly. <laughs> <laughs> because you don't have enough and, and from here on out, we're going to start the show with everybody <laughs> going, hey, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yeah, hey, y'all. Hey y'all! Can you say that without teeth? <laughs> we so have we, our teeth. Hey y'all! Hey, hey y'all! Oh, at least he looks like a bank robber at this very moment, <laughs> ragging her mouth, mixing her meth. I mean, her lie. Her okay, but where do hicks? She where do like hicks got a come gun from? In her hand. She's, <laughs> hey y'all! So hicks can come from anywhere, basically. No, but they come from no, 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 sticks. You it's got a license for that thing, Oily? <laughs> exactly. Is that a pistol in your pocket, or are you just happy it's your anniversary? <laughs> okay, wait. What was okay? Hillbillies come from the hills, so you'd have to like talk to somebody alive from Kentucky. We are rednecks. Okay, completely different animal. A little more classy. You know, we only scratch our – well, we pick our nose, but we only use the same finger. We, you know, we have, we, we have rules. <laughs> yeah. You got to call that – you got to call that a booger hooker. I, yeah. I learned that from Spicy last night. <laughs> <laughs> Digging for gold, I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, there's Fuzz in your heels. Fuzz Fork 8. Hey, boo. And there's our SKS. You go. Uh, all right, so so tell me exactly what is a hick again, because I'm still confused. Okay, it's you, just it's a shortened way of saying it, I guess. It's yes, I mean, it's kind like, of a broad generalization of of somebody living out in a rural area where they're maybe not in contact with the modern world. How's that? Yeah, and and maybe they shouldn't, because they usually got a finger in their nose, another one in their pants. They spit. Well, you, know, you, you got to have the other hand do. free. You have to have the other hand free to for a can of beer. Exactly. So. <laughs> yeah. You know, and your toothpicks always in the side. Yeah. Yeah. You you kind of have to roll it around with your tongue. And go. <laughs> 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 and when you're done with it, you put it behind your ear. <laughs> my cur my curiosity got later. the my curiosity got the best of me, and, and according to the dictionary, a hick is a person who lives in the country regarded as being. Unintelligent or provincial? <gasps> provincial? Yeah. Well, well, I figured it was a long long up, big damn words because I don't know what that means either. Yeah, but see, that, the problem with that uh, definition, look it up in the dictionary, is because that is exactly how I figured to get the wrong answer. I was not going to Wikipedia. Uh -oh. I was not going to Wikipedia. It was curiosity, though. Uh, 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 all right, how about this? Okay. Why? I think, Hillbilly, I think redneck. The smoke makers trying to make a point. We got stuff oh, happening. Nah. I'm just still checking the temperature. Okay. So I had a viewer okay. question, so, so I thought I'd ask. So, so like redneck, hillbilly, hick, yahoo, uh, good old boy, whatever. I answered all of them. How's that? Okay. <laughs> syn syn synonyms are bumpkin, country bumpkin, yokel, rustic, country dweller, peasant, <gasps> country cousin, and then oh, there's more. And there's kissing. They didn't say nothing about kissing cousins. Not yet. Well, that was the Elvis Presley movie, wasn't it? But then the more more defined urban dictionary is is uh, a derogatory slang term for lower class whites raised in rural areas, usually yeah. within trailer parks or hog farms. Oh. Generally, okay. generally used for Wait, midwesterners. So, so, so trailer park trash are always hicks. <laughs> 
Apparently, well, the, those folks and hog farmers. <laughs> they're 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 a subcategory. Wait, well, Dusty has hogs. I mean, so he's a hick. Hey, Are that's you, what he ain't got. He don't have no Ur- hogs. Urban Dictionary says. Wait, so. I thought you said he was like on the day he got married. Uh, he was like had to go out and. Take it was down somebody a hog. else's pig. That he don't have pigs on his farm. Yeah. No, but but yeah, it, I mean, some of the terms are interchangeable, and you can either use it as a term of endear- endearment or an insult. This depends on the context. There you go. Hick life, baby. That's where it's at. <laughs> I'm living the red life. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be able to explain this. There's a person My- originally from L.A. who moved to Hawaii, and I don't think I'm going to explain this to somebody who lives in Australia. You, you need to come out to the country for, for a while. We'll get you up to speed. <laughs> I don't know. You'll be driving a pickup truck in no time. Oh my Well, my God. folks are going to rent a house up in, they want to rent a house for a month up in Prescott, in Arizona, by the Ruger factory. And uh, so I might fly in. And There's then, a mixture up there. You got some money and you got some trailers there. So, yeah, just go on the right side of town. You'll be fine. And what the heck is wrong with trailer? Oh, Oily's taking us down. <laughs> Now we're now we're cooking up our medication. <laughs> uh, I'm still six. checking the temperature. Six is here. Hello, six. Hey. Oh my god. So, so this this formula doesn't use alcohol, does it? And Wee Tree wanted to know why you didn't just put it outside and put it in an ice bath. I'm like, hello, Wee. She's on a camera. It's dark outside. We can't. I mean, the camera's not portable like that. Okay, so my lie, oh, well, yeah, as I stir it, it changes because, you know, some parts are cooler than the others. Okay. Temperature. All right, we're within 10. So I'm taking it out of the ice bath. I'm going to dry off the back of my container. All right, now when you add this to your oils, if you use a spatula, and pour your down it you won't create so many bubbles for those that care about bubbles in their soap deal but you just pour that down the spatula and i will turn this where y'all can see in just a second Hidden new myth that this just came in a few minutes ago and asked, what is Oily making? <laughs> I'm making so. <laughs> All right. Now, I'm using an immersion blender because it'll make this go a lot quicker. And you kind of give this stir at first. Get your eyes and burp your immersion blender by kind of turning it to the side and tapping. It'll get the bubbles out. And then you're just going to blend it. <laughs> and it'll go from clear and your liquid separated to like it'll be like a foamy white. <laughs> Oily has power tools. Yeah. I thought Mr. Oily was chopping down a tree outside the kitchen window. You just mix and then you stir a little bit so you can get all of the loose oil incorporated. Sounded like that thing was saying no more soap. No, nah, it's good. <laughs> And it's already, see how it's thickening up? It's like a pudding. It's kind of hard to see, but it, some of it's like a pudding, but it's still separated. Now, don't eat this, kids. Oh, looks like cream yeah, of wheat. So it might not be very good for you. This is not icing. She's making frosting. Mr. Oily's in there going, ooh, she's baking. And it's already thickening up pretty good because it, it's got the coconut oil in it. It's kind of whipping in there. So 
<laughs> my son's looking at it like, ew. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm just trying to get this incorporated. Incorporation. Sesame Street song, Cooperation. <laughs> <laughs> It's funny to hear the noise and be watching on the YouTube side, which has a huge lag, and it's showing you on YouTube, shooting your temperature gauge at it, and then I'm hearing, <laughs> it's not going together. <laughs> That's a little confusing, isn't yeah. it? All right, now you see how this is kind of thickened up now? Yeah. When you run, when I run it through, it's uh, leaving a trace of where the line is where I push that through. Right. That is true. So if you want your soap to smell good, do you like mix perfume into it or something or lavenders um, or oils yeah. or something? I would say either essential oils or fragrance oils. Um, I think this is so do you do that with your soap? Do you put in any uh, oils for fragrance? I did, on, I did on one of my others. I did a peppermint, the bar that I showed at the beginning. I, I did, but... See, my husband calls it hussy dust. <laughs> I love that. Hussy dust. All right. So basically, this is blended and ready to go. Like, it actually takes longer to get everything measured out in, at the right temperature than it does to make full process soap. Unless you're fancying it all up. So to use for your body, hair and clothes, dishes, whatever. This is all you got to do. All right. Let me take that off. Put my mold here. And just start pouring it in the mold. That's going to be one now big I, bar of soap. Yes, it is. Yeah, it'll be about five pounds, this this uh, thing, and then you just cut it in like uh, one inch. Oh, uh, look, ours. mashed potatoes. Yes. Yeah, that's what it's like. It? Where's the gravy? Oh. In the fridge. I can warm it up right away for you. I, I'll see. pay to see that. You're making soap. You're, it looked like you were making sure you didn't splash that. Yeah, I'm trying. Okay. Trying not to splash it everywhere. It's still live, so I don't right. really want to get it everywhere. Up, so actually I'm going to put the rest of this in another container. I'll put it in the yep. other container. But when you get your container, just level it out. And then you want to tap down. A few times to get the air bubbles out and to kind of get it first. <laughs> hey, I'm ready to miss it. Take, take out your aggression on it. Yes. Yeah, I'm going to. I think it's I have like another. to beat up your soap. Yes. It, it, yeah. it, looks, it looks like a brick mold. Uh huh. It does, doesn't it? How can we make bricks with no straw? Yes. How? Faith the Bound says chocolate scented soap could be dangerous. You know why it's sitting in the mold? Oh, yeah. Yeah. No kidding. Or cherry soap. Yes. Oh, I'm you got a little liner? A little liner? Is, is it a liner or wax paper? Paper that I lined, a, just a plain plastic container from the store. Okay, thank you. From the store. The dollar store. Ooh, the dollar tree. Dollar Gentral. Gentral. <laughs> I forgot about the dollar Gentral. <laughs> yeah, what? Dollar Gentral, man. Go behind the dollar store. Yeah, Eric, all kind of stuff going down. That's where you can sell what you're making. Oh, wait, no, we're making soap. Steal the Wi Fi from the dollar store. Yep. Got to get a connection somehow. All right, so let me tap this down, and then I'll show you how to uh, store your soap. Okay. 
this is just going to be sad looking bars, but that's okay. It was left over and I'm not wasting my soap. Once you have your soap molds filled, you cover it with cardboard or something, and then you cover it with a couple of old towels, and this will help it gel properly. It's like a magic trick. Yeah. Night. And is it, is it hot? It is hot and it will stay hot for hours underneath these towels. And store them in a warm place. You don't want to put this in like in a cold place or it won't gel all the way. Okay. Now, gel is just a preference that some people have. Some of them don't worry about it and others like their bar fully gelled. Like if you cut into your soap and you see a dark ring in the center parts gelled and the rest of the bar hasn't so that gives you an idea but it doesn't affect how the soap works for you my friends because it's still <laughs> soap right all of it then in the morning when oh, you pull yeah, those, in the morning when you pull those covers off there's a tiger under there right. wait 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 before <laughs> before the soap cools down you gotta you you gotta put a rope in it oh <gasps> yes so <laughs> put a rope <laughs> Soap on a rope. <laughs> yeah, every hillbilly hick needs soap on a rope. Precisely. God, that See, was like my catching on. My dad's <laughs> biggest gift at Christmas: boxer shorts, soap on a rope that smelled like Old Spice. Are we making candles next week? Fuss fork we eight once to next week. <sighs> so my my son said you can cover it in chocolate and pretend it's a Klondike bar. Oh God, that's it would look just like it for the evil friends. Oh my God, yeah. that is too cool, Oily. You're making your own soap now. This is way groovy. So I cut it with the fancy cutter, so it's got ridges. But you know, this is soap. Nice. So you, you put a big O imprint on there somehow for Oily on the soap, like a big O. Oh. Oh, I could. Yes. I could do a a, a stamp, like an embossed stamp type yeah. thing. But, so, after this, are you going to be considered the soapy prepper? Oh God! No. So no. I've seen I've seen those custom soaps though, where they're like different colors uh, yes. mixed in. How do they do that? Yeah, and I am going to start doing that. I've I've started getting some stuff for it, but I haven't yet. So, so to riser, are we making candles next week? No, we're not making candles next week. I think most everybody kind of knows how to make candles, but a lot of people don't. So does the homemade soap last as long as a bar of store-bought? Oh, probably longer if you let it cure for long enough. Hey, Rain! But, yeah, um, it's it's not that bad. Watch your mouth. Sorry. My husband and son forget that I'm in here on the computer. What, what, what if you put OPS on that? Oh, I, I can soap. just uh, yes. I can, I can I can just go wash their mouths out out with. Yeah, we can do a test. You no, know, if you put yeah. OPS on there, somebody's gonna go look. They spelled soap wrong. Yes. <laughs> oh God, that's true. <laughs> or it might mean so, other people's soap. <laughs> yes. No. Yeah. I don't want to use you soap. Right? Old old people soap. <laughs> right. Well, this old if, if you wrap this soap up, could you sell it to a hotel chain? I always um, wonder where them little bars come from. Yep. I, I China, doubt it. China. I don't want to yep. have to deal with all the regulation on it. But yeah. That's from the Keebler elves. Okay, they make cookies and they make soap. <laughs> they make soap. They soap make little regulated. soaps on a rope. Yeah, little so bitty soaps on a rope. <laughs> really like soaps on a thread. <laughs> there can't, can't be a federal soap inspector. Oh, yes, there is. You know there is. Well, I can imagine that in the EU, um, but... Really? In America? A soap inspector? You know it. God, they're condom inspectors for crying out loud. Ooh, ooh, BC had a good thing. Cover a little piece in chocolate and they'll wash out their own mouths. <laughs> <laughs> I and bet, bet they'll be fine until they actually hit the soap when they go through that chocolate. And then they'll, they won't be wanting to do that again. Right. And Rain said different fats used also affect how long the bar will last. And the longer, like you said, you let it cure, the longer it'll last when you go to use it. Yeah. 
So yes, and different fats affect the whether you're going to get lots of bubbles or not. Whenever you're soaping, whether it's a creamy bar, whether it's a harder bar, and um, all of it affect you know it affects. So all I imagine Mastos is going to always use uh, bacon. Bacon. Yeah, fat. you know I'm going to use bacon for grease. Yeah, because that's like you can rendered bacon grease. Heck yeah. Darn skippy. And, and then, so you're not, it's not going to get puffy or anything. It's just going to be the same size it is in that mold. Just, it's going to get hard. Yes. Okay. Yeah, it'll just harden. Like, they'll look like this the next day. I'll, I'll be able to pull it out of the mold. Some, sometimes you have to wait an extra day or so, but usually within 24 hours, you can cut your soap into, you know, pop it out of the mold, cut it into these pieces, and then whenever you're storing it, Put it, on, put them on a tray or in a bucket or something, and but space them out a little bit so they're getting air between the bars that you've cut. Oh, well, you need to do like some kind of question contest now to give away soap to your people in the external, like give away a bar of soap. And I actually, I actually had planned on uh, giving away of that soap that I just made that y'all watched me make. Oh my gosh! So, hey, you need like a question or something, a tough question to ask, for people to answer. Hmm, let me see. Let me get over to the external. All right. Hmm. Okay. So does anybody remember the formula for how to figure out how many liquid ounces you have to have to, on your container? What ounces you need? Um, that was the math know. part. The math part. That yeah, that was the, was the part, part when I said I, I'll go look at this again later and try and write that down. It was the red next to yellow oh. killed the fella. Oh wait, that's the snakes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't even remember videos about. Why are you asking me that? In case you wanted to win some soap. I I, I don't use soap. You do to use I'm, soap. Uh, I'm Government a, I'm agents gonna, aren't required to use soap. I'm one of them hill how do I figure, If I'm holding up a mold, how do I figure how many liquid ounces will go into this mold? How do I figure it? Tell me how to do it. Cricket soap making grease will make soap. Use soapcalc.net. You how do you figure out how many ounces this is gonna hold? My husband divide by four. Oh, length with the length with depth math. Times what? Something. Divide by four. <laughs> <laughs> no, but close. It's five. Length <laughs> times width. I'll have to width figure out a times when if I don't get it all. Times what? Get, get the free Wi-Fi at the Dollar Central. No. Hey. Rain goes 0.15 ounces lie to each one ounce of fat and 0.425 ounce water. That's why Rain's smart. She knows numbers. <laughs> okay. Just for those that are wondering, we'll do another question. Length times width times Jeff. depth times 0. 0.40. Oh, only Point missed four zero. 0. Not divided by four. None of us are winning soap. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let me think of something else. Okay, tell me which is the correct way, lie to water or water to lie? Lie to water. Mouse toe. Well, I need to win. Okay, go yeah, ahead. You don't want to have to go down to the dollar <laughs> gentry to get her soap. That's right. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Hey, I got a question. I got a question. Steal me some Wi Fi, the dollar gentry. I got a good question. <laughs> what? Okay, what was, what what is the most dangerous animal on the planet to man by measuring who which animal kills the most people? Red next to yellow killed the fella right there. Coral yeah. snake. Gear got it. He put water to lie, <laughs> stay dry, oily. So gear gear got one point. Are we talking actual actually animals? Actually, water to lie, you may die. It's lie to water. <laughs> Rain got it. We tree got it first. Lie to water. Right. So it, mouse toes and wheat tree bonds, I both won two bars of soap a piece. Did anybody figure out which was the most dangerous and, animal and that kills, did, kills the most humans? Nina got it right, too, because she, she said times 40%. Which That's is right. Point. Whoever said that was right. Finger legs. Right. So, Nina, so Nina, Nina got it as well. Yep, so so. Tom. 
It's the so mosquito. All three of you. Mosquito kills about a million, uh, over a million people a year because uh, it, it has, it spreads malaria. So. Yep. You didn't win you nothing. You didn't you admit that this, you did And, and it's always the female mosquitoes. So the male mosquitoes don't bite. It's just the females. So if you swash a mosquito, <laughs> don't say you bastard. Say, well, something else that starts with a B. What a surprise. The women always ones try to kill us. Well, you know, think about it. Why is that? Look in the mirror, figure it out. You know? God, All right, that's you know one. Me? Send me your addresses in a PM so that I, or email me at call me C L L M E C R Z Y at yahoo.com. It's call me crazy without the A's in it at gmail.com. Sorry. And Squib says next week oily makes bug repellent. That's funny <laughs> because I have a video on how to make, I make it like in this gallon milk jug so, of bug so repellent and a mosquito repellent. No CEOs have a video on that. Uh, so congratulations Sandy. to the winners who, who won the last best soap of humankind. <laughs> Oh, like what Rain said. That makes sense. Us chicks can bite. <laughs> so you're going to make some bug juice, Mouse? I have. I have a video on bug juice, no seums, mosquitoes, and I think it, it's got um, some oils, some essential oils in it. And it, my husband gets attacked. My friend Claire gets attacked. I'm not so bothered. Those, yeah. those no seums were real bad when we were down, when I was stationed down in Yankee Town, Florida. Oh. We use that Avon Skin So Soft to keep them off of us. Yeah, but see, you'll slide right out of a kayak with that stuff <laughs> yeah, on you. I mean, yeah. that's slicker. That is slicker. <laughs> Mate, you're a slicker than eel doo doo yep. with that stuff. You're not and kidding. Yeah, because they just slide off you, and we sweat so dang bad because we're not. I mean, we're in a marsh. It's now there's upsides to it. I grew up Do, on a bayou with all these beautiful cypress products? trees hanging. No, with Why cypress not? trees hanging, but snakes fall out of that in your boat and everything else. So here we sweat wet so heavily because we're just sitting out in a fiberglass boat you know it's 98 degrees you're six inches from the water it's a little bit warm but yeah skin so soft works in that they can't land on you they they skid on you you know they can't bite why doesn't doesn't the deep stuff for work why it's not, not strong no. enough in some places. Right. Mm -hmm. And when you sweat with that, it's not good for you. For one, it's terrible to use on children. And when you have to put it like on your forehead, uh, a lot of men, my husband has short, short hair, like guys in the military need to spray it on their head. When your sweat rolls that deep into your eyes, I promise you, it's like somebody just put yeah. ma ma mapalm in there. It's terrible. It's like pouring right. some uh, oily yeah. soap juice in your eyes. Yes. So no <laughs> good. <laughs> It don't kill ticks, know, Buzz Fork. If you want to know if DEET works on mosquitoes, come to Oklahoma. That'll pro that'll prove that DEET does not work. It works. Nah. It just it doesn't it doesn't work under all circumstances. Right. The the high heat, high humidity, it's just not gonna not as good. Right. I'll, I'll tell you what, as a Yankee going down there to, to Florida, the thing that got me the worst was the freaking chiggers. Oh, oh my God! Those things would drive me nuts, and you couldn't get at them. And somebody mm -mm. told me to put some clear nail polish over where the red spot was, and it would kill. Yes, them. it works because they, uh, you know, they used to tell us that they get under your skin, but yeah. it's actually they bite under there and pee pee in there or something. And that's I don't know. You just want to claw your out skin of you. off. <laughs> it's, it, you're, it's like a meth head, exactly. <laughs> it's like, and people are looking at you, right? And you're like, I got the chiggers. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> terrible. Oh, okay, there. now Rain says to rub catnip leaves, cat, cat, catnip leaves <laughs> on your skin. Here, here it comes. <laughs> what? Wait, okay, wait. Ro, first, where the hell do you get catnip? Second, never mind. Rub it on your skin, and that'll keep them off. But imagine the cat. Yeah, because you got a bigger problem. The cats are coming after of you. <laughs> Don't go to the zoo. Hey, it's Big Cat Week on December 10th on Nat Geo Wild. Yeah, don't do that in Africa. Okay, go walking through the bush. <laughs> you don't get bit by a mosquito. You get bit by something much, much bigger. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Mr. Rain says that, that Mrs. Rain is the most dangerous animal on earth. <laughs> <laughs> Rain you get a big old 
Chigger Kitty. Finger says, hashtag Chigger Kitty. <laughs> hashtag Chigger Kitty. <laughs> Faith, Faith Ray says, great. make sure you snort while you do it, and it'll add a bit more to the repellent. Oh, <laughs> oh God. <sighs> oh, my gosh. Oh, that emoji Mr. Rain put up there looks like Dear Gryden when he wears his little hat. Yes. Like a ball. <laughs> That's funny. Um, for keeping um, mosquitoes away, um, there's a blend called Purification that's really good. Um, it has citronella in it, which citronella by itself is really good. Hey, John Z. Um, so yeah, that's a that's something that will help. But yeah, it is really hard to find something that for the, some of these mosquitoes around here. And believe me, you want to do something that that will protect because. Nearly lost my son when he was 11 uh, from West Nile with encephalitis. Oh, and West Nile gosh. and West Nile and malaria are the two biggest uh, killers from mosquitoes. Mm -hmm. And now you got the Zika, don't you? Zika virus from them too. Oh, you get ate up with the Zika virus. I snow point. Dengue on. fever, malaria. Dengue. We yeah. had that. We had an outbreak of dengue here in Hawaii. <laughs> Gear. <laughs> Gear. <Yeah. laughs> Gear puts a clown up. <laughs> Rain says you can jump in a vat of tool dip. <laughs> yeah, they, they, I bought a bunch of uh, citronella candles. At, uh, they had like a big bucket candles of citronella when I first moved yep. to Hawaii at Home Depot or I forget where. See, yeah, there, are plants, there are plants that you can also plant. Faith Abound said camper trees in the yard help. Um, yeah, planting different things um, in the yard does help with a lot of different. Um, and Southern Ark says Louisiana mosquitoes are horrible and big as hawks, and that's true because I grew up there. They're, you're like, is it a hawk? No, it's a mosquito. And you have the big ones in Oklahoma, don't you? Ours aren't big here in South Carolina. Yeah, they're pretty big here. Yeah, we got some big ones. And <laughs> Stump Greenwood is in the house. Hey, Stump. Stump. Oh my God, BC! Louisiana mosquitoes have registration numbers and have to file a flight plan when they take off. <laughs> oh my God! Oh. That skeeter's got a snake in its legs. Yes, God. Yeah, I'm telling you, no CMs are the worst. Oh, and they get by your nose and buzzing in your ear, and they're just they creep you out. So I talked to the Kona, Kona uh, butcher uh, shop guy around the corner from where I live, and he's going to set aside some uh, bones, uh, leg bones and stuff next week for me to attack with my new sword. Okay, well, well bones, where's he getting the bones? He's a butcher. Oh, don't worry about that part. Okay. <laughs> Not for you to know. <laughs> Too many questions. It says those Too many questions like will find out. <laughs> oh my god oh god that was like some leg bones i'm thinking when we talk people bears what like is he working the morgue <laughs> oh, no, something you just best not knowing <laughs> <laughs> don't ask too many questions <laughs> uh, so i'll just do a bit this is somebody's bone and now i'm gonna chop it with his sword <laughs> well hi okay. william galloway See, BC no, thought the same thing. He's a mortician. We're from Louisiana. It's how we think. <laughs> <laughs> who's, who's people's that? <laughs> right? Well, you don't have butchers in Louisiana? Well, yeah, but they don't like give us the thing to chop up with a sword. So I that just looks think like it Jimmy's leg. Big. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> hey, I was just going to throw this in the trash. You want it? <laughs> yeah. See, now right. we know what, what do you call it? Potter's Hill would like, and Angola has their own cemetery angola prison you know when people don't want to go get the body and i'm thinking well you know there's some good grave robbing stuff but that's what i was i don't know it just struck me as strange i thought you'd need a big bone for us so i'm thinking leg bone or something person bone <laughs> rib cage for a soul really? cow bone pretty big oh is that what well, you're gonna I get to bring up plenty of them for you oh. well beggars yeah. can't be I'll, I'll take whatever bones he's got and, and i won't ask no questions no bones about it right no <laughs> 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 hey, Oily, I got a question for you. Okay, Oklahoma, your voice is tripping. <laughs> he's, I know. He's, he's like the gravelly guy in my ear. Hey, hey. Oily, I got a question for you. Okay. 
I like yeah. <laughs> Okay, folks, this is where you go get your drink. She'll be okay in a few minutes. I like mustard on my tigers. Breathe. 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 You didn't even get the question out. She tried to breathe because she breathes in her nose. <laughs> okay, Oklahoma, go. In eastern Oklahoma, do you guys have uh, big cats? Speaking of big cats. In eastern Oklahoma, you mean? Or, yeah, some, wherever you're at. They got some chicken <laughs> kitties. Wherever you live, what you got Over in your yonder, yard? You got some big cats. <laughs> yes, we do. Yes, we do. We have oh, some lions. <sighs> okay. The reason I asked is because uh, I went out to check my mail the other day, actually uh, Tuesday. Yeah. And I looked up the hill, and there's a big cat walking up the road. I believe it. Like a kitty cat yeah, we... or? No, no, no kitty. <sighs> and this was about 10 o'clock in the morning. Uh, it was big and it was black. Yeah, we have at least one that comes through here. It's it's, it's a tan color. It's an outline. But... <gasps> All right, Rain, this is for you. <laughs> Go ahead, Oklahoma. Hashtag French fried peters in there. Don't eat that pot of meat. My reckon. It's <laughs> 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 so creepy with the headset on. You get these little footage house like a little creeper in your head. <sighs> I probably done it better yesterday because I was a lot sicker yesterday. Oh, I hope you feel better. <laughs> yeah, I'm kidding. Sorry, I was laughing at this. Here we thought you were playing around. It sounds like you're dying, and we're all I laughing. This is <laughs> yeah, everybody's laughing, and I'm over here dying. Of <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, well, my husband said, Do you eat mustard on your biscuit? <laughs> <laughs> I mustard on my biscuit. <laughs> 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 oh, God. down yonder, do you guys? <laughs> Oh God! That was hilarious. I don't care who you are. That's right. We got a sense of humor right there. Oh God! Fuzz fork doesn't like potted meat. I'm like me either. It's like eating salt on I don't know, just fuzzy stuff. Yeah, when you pot it, it's kind of <laughs> gritty. Oh, it's so gross. Delicious. Dinty uh, more, man. I had some dinty more the other night. It was delicious. In the can? <laughs> Hell yeah, in the can. It was good. Uh, oh, God. I said to myself, you know what? If I have a case of this and there's nothing else to eat, I'm good. Oh, my God. And my dog's looking at me and going, me too. <laughs> <laughs> See, that is it's for your dog. It's, oh, a, it's a dual purpose. Dual purpose okay. food. Yeah, I don't want to eat that. Oh God. A we mess. got we got some Greenwood completely sick of his red was killing him, he says. Okay, because we ain't right and he knows that. He knows it was dangerous to come in here, but being he's a manly man, he <laughs> balled up and walked in. He we're knew all, what could happen. We're all wired wrong. That's right. So. Hey oily. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, yeah, what you got, point. Oklahoma? <laughs> Does your husband know that you asked me what you asked me earlier? And he watched. Oh, you gonna you rat her down? out? You gonna rat her out? Well, about I'm you just, coming down? Yeah, she. I mean, she. She obviously he's got to watch the videos, and we're all crazy. <laughs> <laughs> to go camping and fishing and hunting and. Yeah. Yeah, actually, he was on my Kindle while I was getting the messages from you on Messenger, so it was popping up on my Kindle at the same time I was on my phone with you. <laughs> so he was reading as it went along. You're the worst <laughs> adulteress ever. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I'd be like, hey, am I supposed to be reading this? Because it's getting interesting. That is too fun. <laughs> 
high back it stump oh, it for a stump. Look at this. Oh god. Stump it. So Amy, hello for me. Now how far Not yet. how far apart are you Oklahoma and Oily? Like an hour's drive. Uh, I've been to, probably the closest to her I've been is to Elk City when I was a bounty hunter. And that was a three and a half. And how hour away drive. it's a what? How long is it? Wait, you were a bounty hunter? Yeah. You don't no no no. You're in Hawaii. You ask me questions about that stuff. You know how that, all about bounty hunting. But we got you dogs. Do dog, dog the bounty yeah. hunter. Yep. Y'all can keep him too. I don't think yeah. anybody's ever scared yeah. of dog. They're more scared of his wife. Yes, yeah. Beth. I think get on you, forget it. I'm picturing Oklahoma is more like Boba Fett or something. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, it's about a four-hour drive, I think. Is it something like? It? Yeah. yeah it's four, been a okay, while. so that's not bad. Yeah. Hey, Dusty. No, not really. Nah. We're about 45 minutes from Elk City. So, does that give you any indication? Yeah. And let's see. I think I am about 45 minutes from plant-based outdoors and plant-based plant -based survival. So, um, and I haven't even uh, been to them yet. I got a text from... Uh, Plant-based outdoors today, so we're that's gonna be funny. Plant-based outdoors. <laughs> plant-based out. Plant-based. I want you to imagine. You know how they talk about chatter and stuff and things they intercept, right? We got the Oklahoma oh meeting up with the oily prepper, swinging by the plant-based. I mean, can you imagine what they could make out of this text message? Oh you know? man, I'm telling you. Yeah. My husband. What are you swinging from? <laughs> Yes. God, yep, that would be mine. I don't understand. Oh, God. No. Nope. Well, now, how many days are you, do you think it's going to be that your soap gets hard before you slice it? I know you're going to pop it out the mold. All right, all right. This is a family I'm, show here. I'm going to slice okay. it tomorrow. <laughs> there she goes again. Pop <laughs> it out the mold. <laughs> Where are you going to slide it out of there? <laughs> I, I, like, how long does it take before your soap gets hard? Yeah, how long does it get hard? And you can take that protection <laughs> off of it, that wax paper, and all them towels you wrapped it up on to keep it hard. It's oh taking my. too long. You just had to take this little blue pill here. <laughs> yeah, slide it in, slip it in a little hole in the back. Oh, hell. Hell. <laughs> and then don't forget to wrap that soap up. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> and you can swing it from the rope and it'll get longer. <laughs> Glad my face isn't on the camera. I'm blushing right now. Oh, oh my <laughs> word. Oh, my word. Oh, God. Uh, okay. So I should be able to pop it out of the mold and cut it tomorrow. And then I'll store it on the trays, you know, where they're just. For four to six weeks. Okay, now I got you. The, so you got to wait four to six weeks before they get mailed to the lucky winners, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And hopefully they live that long. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Why? Yeah. yeah. We're not planning on biting a bucket. Bucket. Um, so what okay. you're saying is, is make sure you well, get a couple of bars of soup between now and then so you have yes. something, to, something to work with. Somebody's got to go to Dollar <laughs> General between now and then so they don't smell get so me, bad. Get the me a bar of soap. Yeah, just just one bar should last. Oh now, yes, it, it was about making homemade soap, and I've I've already done it. So you'll have to go back and, and watch and send the videos on how to make soap out there. There's an actual YouTube channel called How to Make Soap and and stuff, and she also has an e-course that you can do. Okay, I don't think, I think it would be as fun as this soap making video. I gotta agree. I, I agree. I See, I wouldn't have thought I would have dumped it out, taken off the wax paper, right, slid it out. I wouldn't have thought to slice it, and then I'd think, wait four to six weeks. Then, then of course, it'd be so dang hard, you couldn't slice it. I'd be yeah. in the burn unit at a hospital right. someplace. So, <laughs> right on step one of <laughs> yeah. the, not the water and the, been lot, the, the and the water. I'd have been like, you know what? I'm just gonna stockpile soap. I can't make it. 
I got to say, I'm very proud of you, and I'm so surprised that the DEA hasn't kicked your door in yet. Me too. <laughs> Isn't that what's cool? There's somebody it watching. Like it looked like you were uh, uh, auditioning for Breaking Bad. I'm telling you, it did. It still did. Breaking soap. Oh, Rain has um, a soap making video. She's still waiting for YouTube to approve as being advertised and oh, friendly. Jeez. Uh, See, they're going to make sure that they demonetize your first thousand of views just to stick it to you. I just put on all my videos. Just to, If you want to help, donate Bitcoin to my Bitcoin address, and that's it. How's that working out for you at $16,000 of Bitcoin? It's even it's going don't, through the roof, man. Not, it is. You want me to get started? I, 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 pulled, I pulled the pin on that grenade. I'm sorry. Finger. I'm going to give you the finger. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just guys. paraphrase Elton John. I mean, Death, Dumb, and Bitcoin sure plays a mean pinball. Uh, <laughs> and now Steam, it's done, lost that. Shoot. That's, that's not true, what was being said out there. I have not seen anything about that. What's shutting down is Vidme, not Steam. Yeah, Vidme shutting okay. down. Okay. Me. Well, and for a while, I stopped Steam. I used to start doing Steam, but I, I just, I mean, I occasionally visit, but it was like, uh, for a while, I was just getting spinning circles. When I would try and log on to Steam, it just wasn't working. And the, I think they've, it's working now, uh, but it wasn't for a long time. And it was just like, okay, well, I'll go live my life. And so if it's working now, then maybe I should go back and check it out. But I've never had, I've not had a problem with it, but of course, I haven't, even, I haven't been on it in about two months. And I'm not going to post anything on it until I get about. I was fumbling around putting a, a video up there the other day, and We Tree Common scolded me. Then she sent me to school. I was like, dang. It's like the Steam at Police. Bow. <laughs> yeah, somebody did write a song called The Steam Police. We love you, We Tree. <laughs> yes. And a Southern Arc has a uh, hot process soap video. That I think she's uploading. I lost it because it moved so fast. I have a video of hot process soap making. Okay, so it's art. Did see? I made up uploading. I got hot process. I saw process, so I thought it was processing, like YouTube upload talk processing, ninety-two percent, ninety-four percent. So Southern Arc Home has a video of hot process soap making on her channel. Got it. Did it. Nailed awesome! It. Thank you. Yeah, because I I'm I'm a slow reader. <laughs> I'm just a slow reader, oily. <laughs> you done made that so right. fast. Yes, I did. <laughs> fast as lightning. <laughs> anyway, you know, yes, I, I'm we should make T-shirts to say we're not advertiser friendly. We could make yeah. a lot of money. <laughs> yes. Yep. There we go. Yeah, and then people could put their YouTube channel on it. Be right. Yeah. Yep. We'll turn well, guys, not being advertiser friendly into a cool thing. Yes. Like it nerds in an, school. It has been an hour. Get out. <sighs> well, rubber gloves and a mask and stirring. Well, the good, so yes, a, absolutely. No, no emergency services were needed tonight. Right. <laughs> so we're good. Ask anybody to bend and cough, okay? No, so. you did it. <laughs> oh God, Oklahoma, you have got this voice. It's too much. This is, this is Al Franken voice. No, Al Franken's creepy creep. Yeah. All right. Do, do the. Uh, all right. Well, thank you guys for coming out. I appreciate all of my panelists. If you haven't subbed to them yet, go check out their channels and sub them up if you like what you see. And um, Finger Lakes Prepper has a chat on Fridays, right? Yes, ma'am. All right, what time? Uh, nine o'clock, Eastern Standard Time. Eastern? Okay, and then Southern Arc Homestead has hers, and I think it's on at seven. So, I believe so on Wednesdays. Need to correct that in the external if I'm wrong on that. And then, um, you know, Squad has his on on Monday nights at what time? Uh, well, that's it. Two o'clock. Right now, it's two o'clock Hawaii time, but who knows? I think it's at seven, seven o'clock, I think, Central. Seven Eastern. Time. 
7 Eastern. So 6 Central. Yeah, 2 p.m. Hawaii time, 7 Eastern, 6 Central. And All I don't right. know when it is on the East Coast. All right. So, appreciate it. Oh wait, and there's one more, one more, one more thing. What? What? Southern no, Arc has a Southern Arc has an 800 sub giveaway, and she's giving away a CB radio yeah. or a ham radio. So go check her out and yeah. sub to her. Go sub, sub to her. Her channel, share her video. So What's the name of the channel again? Southern say, Arc Homestead. Say something, Nina. Yep. A R K. Okay. I just yeah, subbed and click the so click the little bell by yes. her subscribe so that you get notified of new videos. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, thanks everyone for coming. And those that won the soap, remember to send me your addresses, even if I have it, because I don't know where my little address book is. So, DM me or email me one or the other, and remind me what it is I'm sending you. All right. <laughs> All right. Love y'all. Good night, everyone. Good night. Uh, <laughs>